Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. We have a, another package in today and this was sent to us by a company who uh, wanted a review kind of like some of our other products that we've done. And uh, as you can see here, just a small little box. These are actually uh, iron sights that you can mount to your rail, but they have uh, a nice little advantage to them in the fact that uh, these are ones that you can kind of move out of the way if need be. If you have uh, different kind of sighting options or other things that you have attached to your rails, uh, you then have the option with these to kind of get them out of the way if you need to. Uh, it is obviously a two-piece set. It does uh, have the, uh, the wrench there. And as you can see, these are the two pieces here. Uh, you have the rear sight here which has a uh, uh, basically a peep sight there, a round hole there. And uh, then it also has a second round hole, which is actually a smaller one, uh, a little bit. It's probably about uh, maybe a quarter of the size. So you can take and adjust uh, by taking and uh, just flipping it up or down and choosing which one, of course, that you want to use. Uh, now, when it flips up, it is in a locked position, so it doesn't get uh, move down, it's uh, kind of spring-loaded there, so it always kind of pulls back to the same position, so you don't have to worry about it getting uh, bumped or something like that and not being lined up uh, the way you had it when you sighted it in. All right, now to, uh, to flip it back down, you can see at the profile here, there is this little button on the side. You just take and press it in, and it then folds down flat so it keeps it kind of out of the way. Now with the front sight here, it is a post with this, uh, well, I guess it would be a three quarter ring around it. And uh, it is just a simple pin. There, uh, there really isn't anything much to it. So uh, for those of you who, uh, who may want to, or prefer to use uh, something more like a lit sight or uh, something with a certain color, you could of course take a little dab and maybe do a dab of uh, either white or red or yellow or what other color is best for you. Um, it is just a standard black post though. Like basically most of the, uh, most of the iron sights that come out, uh, a lot of them I know I uh, get tipped now. Uh, they didn't used to uh, that I remember. I remember seeing uh, stuff years ago that uh, didn't have things like that. And again, with this one, you just press this little button in and then you can flip it down. All right, so uh, to give you a little bit closer look, went ahead and uh, get a little closer here so you guys can see this. But uh, here you go, here's the site, of course, laid down flat. And, uh, you know, they're both, again, they're both this uh, roughly same profile. Uh, this is have less than half an inch, I think, thick. Uh, in terms of height, but of course that's going from the bottom. Once you have this uh, put onto the rail, of course this is going to set down even lower because you of course have this uh, section here at the bottom that will clamp onto your rail. And it is set for either a uh, pick or weaver rail. Uh, now it does, just to show you, it has a long section and a short section. Uh, for the way that it clasps on there. And part of that is because of uh, giving it the relief for the um, release there uh, so that you can, of course, when you move it up, you can then have something where you can push it in and uh, let it drop back down. And on the other side, just to show you what this looks like here, uh, this has a uh, little notch on either side there, and that's what it is that locks into place. So there it's locked into place. And those two little notches are locked in. And then when you press the button here, that of course extends out so that it's out of the way and then you can move it down. So now it's basically just ready. It's, it's not locked in when it's in this position. So you can of course move it up uh, and uh, you know, get it flipped up to where you need it to be. But uh, here you go. Now, here is uh, what the site looks like with the uh, with the pin and uh, maybe against my hand there a little easier to see and then this is the of course rear sight the rear peep and uh, I believe generally you're going to want to have the uh, little push button on the right hand side 
of, uh, of your uh, rifle or whatever you're putting it on. Uh, so there is the, uh, the large peep and then you can take and flip that forward and then there's the small one. And uh, I do believe when you take and move this, I have a feeling that it is shifting slightly left or right. But, um, you know, so that's something you might want to take a look at. Uh, if you want to uh, use one or the other, that may be kind of what it's set for. Uh, of course, you could always maybe uh, make an adjustment on your own to kind of know where the difference is between the, uh, the smaller and the larger peep sight. Now, it does have uh, the little... Uh, gauge right here and of course this is going to be your windage knob and uh, this windage knob right here of course is going to give you your side to side motion uh, and then when we get over to the other one there is the uh, well it's on the front here or on, is it up oh, there it is it's on the side it's kind of odd to look at the way that it is but you've got these openings basically in the post itself and uh, in there are like the ribs and everything. And you take and rotate that, and that of course will move your uh, pin up and down, so that of course will change your elevation. So you will move this as two separate parts. It's not like a scope that's all one piece, but of course this isn't one piece in the first place. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this on a, uh, I think I have a rifle that we can uh, put this on. We'll go ahead and set this on there. Um, we're not going to put it into a finished position necessarily, but uh, you can at least see what it looks like on the rifle and uh, get kind of a picture as to what it's going to look like uh, on uh, a standard kind of rail setup. All right, everybody, so here we go. This is uh, on the uh, rifle here, and this is just a, uh, a 22 right here. Uh, we have fairly small uh, rail on here, not, not super long. A uh, lot of rail system I've noticed have been uh, quite a bit longer than this, but this one, I mean, this is just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. So anyhow, here's what it looks like in the down profile. Uh, you've got everything nice and low and everything and uh, again if you have these set up and you have things um, where you have maybe other pieces that you can use with these flip down or something like that or if you're just trying to conserve space maybe you have a very low profile type of uh, of case or something like that that you keep this in of course it can come down like this and uh, give you that little bit of extra room instead of having it really high like uh, like a scope or something like that might make uh, but then we go ahead and uh, flip it up there, and uh, there you go. It does, of course, obviously raise it up, raises it up almost an inch there uh, for it. And, uh, you know, again, it would be better if it was further apart, but this is just a small rail. This rail does take a, uh, a scope, uh, is usually on this. So, of course, this isn't quite set up for something uh, quite to this, uh, this kind of style or design. And uh, again, of course, you can, of course, change whether you use the, uh, the large or the small peep sights. Uh, again, when you do that, uh, double check your sighting in and stuff when you're flipping back and forth between these. Make sure you sight both of them and see if there is a difference when you uh, flip it up and down because it may very well uh, change from, you know, it may change your, uh, your uh, altitude or your uh, latitude depending on uh, which way it moves. It may move side to side or just the very center of the actual hole may actually be slightly different between the uh, larger and smaller peep. Uh, and again, like I said, this does have a bit of a spring load to it. So as you can see, I'm bumping it, but it automatically shifts itself back. So uh, no matter what, it's always going to have itself kind of set back to where it's supposed to be so that uh, it doesn't throw off your aim. The front post doesn't uh, doesn't move much at all. It's pretty pretty static. There's a very mild bit of wiggle there, but it still it still snaps back into place again, just like this one does. And it still has that little bit of a uh, of a spring loaded action to it. And of course, then again, you can just press the buttons in, flip them down, and there you go. So uh, pretty pretty uh, nice little setup there. If you uh, if you need a set of iron sights. 
So if you guys want to check them out, you can, of course, go down there in the description below. Uh, we will, of course, have a link to that. And, of course, while you're down there checking out that link, there are our social media uh, links down there as well. You can, of course, check those out. Of course, comments down below. We always welcome those. Uh, and don't forget, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button. We, of course, appreciate it when you do that. And if you haven't done so already, hit the little subscribe button either down below the video or right over here in the corner. Uh, there'll be a little icon floating around. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon as well so you get notified of when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.